Dino, you are perhaps best qualified after sitting uh, at the desk at the New York Fed on foreign exchange. Are we losing the marginal purchase of U.S. dollars? Is that a theme for the early part of this decade uh, that we could actually finally see other nations give up that desire, that appetite for the marginal U.S. dollar? Well, you know, the, the, the appetite comes not because of an intrinsic desire to hold U.S. dollars. That It comes from uh, other ob uh, objectives that they have. So China wants to stimulate employment. They want to have exports. And that leads them to uh, uh, control their exchange rates, which is what leads mm -hmm. them to accumulate dollars over time. So, uh, so it's not that they love dollars inherently. It is that they're trying to maintain employment. Um, so that's, that, that's the first point. I think the, the other point, though, is that over time, it, it, it shouldn't be unusual that from an investment perspective that some of these countries may want to diversify, uh, hold more more euros, hold more uh, emerging market currencies even, for example. Uh, but at the same time, the dollar is probably going to be the primary reserve currency, at least mm. for the next decade. It's hard to see that it gets displaced uh, over the next decade. Over the next th three, four decades, you know, anything can happen. But uh, I think that the people who worry about uh, an imminent and immediate loss of the dollar reserve currency status are, are really overstating the case. Well, Dino, where are you in the debate over when the Federal Reserve reverses policy. I mean, we've, estimates are all over the place, ranging from this coming spring to not till next year. Well, uh, and uh, one of the issues here is definitions. So what do we mean when we say reverse policies? There's uh, reversing interest rates. Right now, the Fed funds rate is at zero. Do, are, we, are we talking about that? Are we talking about reversing the asset purchases that they've done? Are we talking about reversing the, uh, the, the large volume of excess reserves that they've put in place? Uh, and then there's some smaller uh, actions that they've done as well. So so, uh, you know, over the course of the next year, they may start signaling that they are going to be unwinding some of these things. They may bring down some of the levels of excess reserves. They may uh, reduce some of these assets that they've accumulated slightly. But it's hard for me to see that they will do a wholesale reversal given, uh, unless you have an amazing uh, recovery of the economy. Mm -hmm. And that's just very hard to see right now. A lot of changes in banking. Our Eric Schatzker interviewing Brian Moynihan of Bank of America, the new guy on the block there. And he's saying, hey, nothing's, I believe, uh, he said, hey, nothing's going to change. Come on, there's got to be a new banking regime. What is the regime that you and Charles Peabody see? What is the, the new banking industry in America going to look like? Uh, it is. Uh, it's, it's a great question. You, you know, I think we're seeing the at least directionally some of that already, which is that the shadow banking system will play a much smaller part uh, th th than it has over the last decade. So less in terms of some of the asset-backed securities, less structured products, more, if you will, traditional uh, banking intermediation. Uh, that's actually good for pr probably. Well, a lot do of you support utility bank? Uh, well, I, I, here we get into a definitional question. What do we mean by utility banks? Okay, you tell us. That's uh, your job. You know, you know, you know I, uh, I think that for the very largest banks, the very, right. very largest banks, uh, uh, they will be confronted with a set of issues over the next decade uh, that they will have to navigate very, very carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some very, very large institutions here. Uh, let's call them mega banks, the big four especially. Uh, they have grown in size during this crisis as they have absorbed uh, 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 other institutions that have failed or that have been close to failure, that has made this too-big-to-fail problem even more acute for those institutions. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and, and then the question really is, you know, what will be the response to that? Uh, the, 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 the proposals before Congress mm -hmm. right now really do not tackle the too-big-to-fail issue.